Small business in Arden Arcade rebuilding after a break in at their store. It is the latest in a string of burglaries. Business owners believe they're being targeted. Fox 40's Mason Morrow joining us now live in studio to tell us more. And Mason, how are these business owners dealing with all of this? Well, Nikki, they're not really sure how because it's almost unprecedented how often these business owners are being hit right now. A toys and collectible shop bur burglarized last week. A clothing store right across the street hit now four times in under three months. Business owners wonder when enough will be enough. It costs a lot in, in time and in stress. Toy Fusion, the latest small business burglarized in Arden Arcade. The collectible store out thousands in repairs and inventory right in the middle of the holiday shopping season. They came through this area and they pushed their way through the, this cabinet. Around 5.30 Friday morning, Andrew Lee Young got a call from on-site security. His storefront of five years was vandalized. Someone spotted hauling a box of stolen collectibles to a vehicle parked outside. They removed the locks and then started you know, taking stuff out of it. Choice pieces that were like two, three hundred dollars a piece were take from this cabinet. Leung tells Fox 40 the fee to his security cameras was cut. This is actually half empty. Only certain valuable items missing from their locked glass casings. Or they were, were very comfortable with, with, with being here, which worried me. Worry turned to wonder if security patrol and surveillance cameras aren't enough. We have to do our best to, to fortify this place even more, but I don't want this place to look like a, a prison either with bars in the windows and everything. <laughs> Seems like somebody cursed on us. Right across the street at Liz Shoes Best and Fitted Outfits, Amir Siddiqui barred up his storefront after the clothing store was hit three times in two months. There you go. We are paying the cost of learning uh, because we did not expect that. A payment steeper than $100,000 in stolen items. Siddiqui and Leung warn other art and business owners, pay up now or pay out later. It may not get better next year. It might get a little worse. So just be more mindful. Uh, do your best to have your own protection, security, and um, you know. Hopefully, the, the best way is just be um, I think defensively. And Leung told me Siddiqui actually reached out to him a couple of days ago, upset because he was burglarized again now for a fourth time. As I said earlier, Leung says he just wants his store to feel safe for his customers, especially right now during the busiest time of the year. Eric. Yeah.